Okay, so um, this is one of the first projects we're going to do as a kickstart to our new YouTube channel for trains. And uh, we're going to be changing this train from the Anglian box set um, into DCC. It's not a DCC ready locomotive, so um, we're going to be changing around. So the first thing we're going to get rid of the tender and I'm just going to show you what you need. So you'll need a locomotive chip. This is the Hornby 4 function decoder. Um, this is soldering iron. You will need a soldering iron if it's not DCC ready. Obviously you need some solder for the soldering iron. I've got here uh, oh, one. a set of screwdrivers just for deassembling the set. That's fine. Uh, a pair of cutters, a pair of wire strimmers, um, and I think that should be everything. Okay, so we'll start by removing the chassis from the main body. So just locate the parts which need to be taken off. So I think this one, bear with me if I get this wrong. Oh, yeah, it's at the back. Okay, so there we go. Now put this screw somewhere safe. Don't lose it. And then for this train, it's only one screw, some trains will have more. You just pull it back and lift it out. And put that somewhere safe as well, no damage to that. And then we've got this. Okay, so um just have to just before we go any further, that's completely fine. You won't get you won't damage your locomotive at all by doing this. But I have to warn you, if you're gonna go any further now, it will require cutting some of the wires and I'm not responsible if you damage your train in any way. If you follow the way it's meant to be done, you shouldn't, but um, but it's quite possible to damage your train. So, okay. I recommend you use the Hornby website, because they've got a basic information guide for dealing with trains. Okay, so. Just separate this resistor out from the parts. Okay. And that part. You have to locate which part goes to each part. And now I'm going to cut away from here and here. Okay, and this bit should become a bit more loose. And then take away these bits of heat shrink tubing. Okay, now they're soldered in place, so let's just remove the solder. Okay, so now you've got this resistor, and this will not be needed anymore because the DCC chip has a built in resistor function, so the resistor can go sideways. Now, once again, let's just spread the cables out. So, in this train, these two wires go to the pickups on either side of the wheel. These two wires connect to the motor. So, I'm just going to trim this wire slightly. I don't know if this is going to do it well enough. Okay, so um, we've just trimmed the wires. Bring it closer, you can see that. All of these wires have been successfully trimmed. Okay. And now we're going to move on to the chip part. So here's the chip. Uh, there's purple wire coming off there. You don't need to worry about that. Now you just get this, and you get your wire cutter. Uh, you get your cutters, or whatever. And this is only if it's a non-DCC ready. You don't need those that pin socket there. We'll just get rid of it. So there we go. Okay. So now what we're going to need is the red and black wires first. So locate the red wire. Okay, and I'm going to trim this. And then the black wire. Trim this. Okay. Okay, there we go. 
Uh, so now we've got the red and the black wire, and now we need the grey and the orange, so... Grey here. And the orange here. Okay, so, a little bit of a tangle, just straighten them out a bit. Okay, now I'm going to use this tool here, just to hold everything in place for me. So, I'm just literally going to grab this bit here, whilst I solder. So, pick up from the motor, back on my motion chip, one to each. So I'm just using the Hornby website behind me, as you can see there. That will be incredibly useful to you. Use that page. Okay, there we go. So, first of all the red wire, so the first pickup. Now ideally what you'll want for this is some heat shrink tubing, which unfortunately I don't have any of at the moment. If you've got some, you want to seal the connection with some of that. Okay, so that's one wire done. And now on the other side, hold the other wire in place. So this is the black wire. It's just there. Okay. And now solder the black wire in place. Okay, hmm. I have some realistic steam effects on the train. Okay, now the two wires from the motor here. We need the grey wire. I'm going to put some solder on the soldering iron here. Oops. Which wires? So the grey wire to the first motor pick up there, and now the orange wire to the other motor pick up. Oops, 
straighten out the wires. Excuse my cold. And then just ensure that there's a strong bond between your connections. Okay. Okay, so we're here at the layout at the power tracks. This isn't normally where I'll be putting my trains on the track for reviews and stuff, but we're here just to get the best connection. Um, so, first time we've tested it. First time we've just we've literally just put it on the tracks. Okay, and um, we're going to select. I lift you up here. So, yeah, so we've just programmed it. Locomotive address 5. Now, let's see if it works. We're going the right way. Ooh. Yes! It does, yes. Okay. So, there you go. Um, right, all we've left to do is put the chassis back, or the uh, detail back on it. Okay. Okay, so um, we're back at the uh, workstation and uh, we've just... These wires will not be used unless you've got functions. Now I do plan on fitting some Soothe smoke fitters into some of my locos, um, but we're not going to fit that now because I don't have any at the moment. So, uh, we don't need these yet and providing you just cut them short and don't cut them all the way back to the stem, you will still be able to use them. So just cut them short like that, and there we go. So keep these as spares. Yeah, so you could have some more wires. Okay, and then keep. If you've got heat shroof tubing, use it. Great. Um, and then I'm going to wrap this around here. No. Okay. So um, we just found a suitable place to put the chip. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get all of these wires together and fold them over the top this way. And just a final red recap, red and black go to pickups on the train and grey and orange go to the uh, grey and orange go to the motor. All the rest of the wires are used for functions. So in here I'm going to slot the DCC chip into there get all of the wires inside slot it back in as it's meant to and just safely push it down ok, now I get that screw that you had earlier and put it back in ok so ok so we've fitted the chassis back on, I'd just like quickly to mention that I did wrap up the insulating uh, rather than having heat shrink tubing, rather than that I um, wrapped it up in some tape, just uh, heavy tape just to make sure it was fine and now we're just going to run it ok, so here we go Oops, sorry.